biggin. Oh, that's the kind we need right there. Yeah. That was awesome. That was the greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> It'll never happen again. First place, also big bass, you guys. What is up, MFers? Welcome to uh, another exciting tournament fishing video. As you can see right back here behind me, it's bright and early. We just launched a boat, waiting for the old wizard man to get back out here. That's who we're fishing with today. Yesterday, won a freaking tournament, crushed the bass out deep cranking. Today, we're totally mixing things up. We're at a lake we've never been to before, but there hasn't been a whole lot of tournaments scheduled in our area. So we decided to just go hop in one, drove a couple hours. Today's tournament gonna be shallow water fishing for the large part. We did scan around last night, found some rock paws and stuff offshore, so we'll be fishing those. But for the most part, we're gonna be swim jigging, shallow swim jig, flipping top water, stuff like that on some shallow docks and uh, grass and stuff. But I'm freaking jacked to get out here and catch some. It's a ton of three pounders in this lake. Also, MF for the day is right down there below. If you wanna be the MF for the day, of course, all you gotta do is subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment below. Cole Slaw will pick his favorite comment of the video, and hey, you can see yourself in the future comments, so go ahead and do that. We're gonna get this son bitch launched, and hopefully uh, start sticking them as good as we have been the last few times. All right, let's start the tournament, Zark. There's a, uh, let's go over there. That way we can fish this dock too. Zark found this the other day. There is a bubbler up there. Should I get the net? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's got a fish in it, he says. Claims. Hopefully we can get a couple on it. I got him. Oh shit. Well, there is one there. Small ones this time of day, apparently. Yep. Oh, <laughs> did it right there. Beauty work. Should have brought a couple thousand more D bombs, apparently. I don't think we're going to keep him, but. Let's get it. I can't. My bait's screwed up. Where'd you put that skin? Inside the dash of the glass there. No, I'm putting it on my phone. I got it. Yeah, this spot's Aww. terrible. That's okay. There'll be big ones at some point when someone else is here. There you go, wizard man. We can throw them back if you want. Might catch another one. What's the other one? Did you put them in there? A little thicker. There's hardly any fish right here. This spot's terrible. No fish in this lake. Good job, Zark. Good eye. <laughs> Good eye. I think close myself. Close to it? Yeah, I know that. I got up a little more than I wanted to. 
I got it. It's probably high twos, maybe because he's thick. Thanks, Joe. Carefully, he's got teeth. <laughs> Couple fish in this lake. Yeah, man, there's current blowing. That is a hell of a fucking tube thing. There's current blowing under that dock making current. You think they won't eat a frog because the bait's tiny? Wouldn't think that that'd be a huge factor. Little guy, I got it. Doubled. Doubled up. A lot of these in here. It's going to be a game of ounces. That I think if I flip around enough of these into these platforms, these docks, we can catch five big ones. Hey, we got five. They'll be there until 145. Someone needs to, right? No. Bigger than number two. Oh yeah. Two pounds. Doesn't matter anyway. We have five, right? Yeah. Giant. Gigantor. Swimming yig. Women's yig. Nope. That's what we should do is sink a bunch of stuff. Good hook set. That was nice. That's a good one. Good old biggins and big old goodins. God, they're all the same size. I know. This sucks. I hate tournaments like this. <laughs> I just don't like the ring around the rosy factor of how this is turning into. There's still like three rock piles for those watching at home and there's boats on all of them the entire time so far. You're one ounce. One ounce. That probably won't get over the one we have in the box. Two five. All right, replace number five, which is the one that with the no number. Skeeter boats taste the live well. Presented by Laser Lure. If it doesn't got a blinking eye, get a new one, guy. Laser Lure. Ah! Laser Lure. If you use it, you're done. <laughs> That's the start and the end. Well, why didn't you get him? They're getting on it now. <laughs> yeah. I think those guys did just fish this stretch. Maybe set it a little harder on that one. That's a decent one. No, it's not. They look like they got big frames and they're just summer build. Summer William. God, I'm getting sick of weighing fish. <laughs> you better not be. You got six more hours of it. <laughs> nope. I'd do some yeah okay jesus zark don't take shit from no one i'm about to switch to a damn menace that's for sure jumbo menace coming small is two five yep i've weighed it three times at two five mm -hmm. you're like oh it's on the surface Did he freak out? I thought I heard him freak out back there. You got one? God dang it, Joe. Well, it makes me feel better because I can't catch him hardly, so. Good to see I that you are. Bite this morning. Put on his wizardry swim jig. Nah, throw him back. 
My wizard powers are kicking in and throwing the switch. Was it the stogie or the energy drink? Both. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Actually, I haven't had an energy drink yet. Huh. Oh. I was like, something blew up in there. <laughs> Weigh him and see. <laughs> I hate this part. I'm just gonna start throwing him back because he doesn't want to weigh him. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Biggin'. Looks like it. Nice man. Good fish. Alright, I'll increase this by ounces and you increase this by pounds. Alright. Deal. 211. Number two. Replace number two. That one weighs more than it. Alright. Ounces upgrade. Dude, they're eating the six cent swim jig like crazy. So this is the bait we've been using right here, freaking six cent swim jig. I'm flipping around now trying to get a big, big bite, but putting a you're killing me. Magnum menace on it. And we're using bluegill color. Tipping it. And the biggest thing, the biggest thing in all of it is you're able to skip it as far yeah. as you can. You're throwing up under the main part of the dock. I think also one of the, I mean, the really nice part, you don't have to super glue it. It's got the screw lock. Skipping Screw it, it up in there and you, skipping it, you just cannot keep it up. Even super glue. I was doing it the other day a little bit with the, the bread jig, and it still was coming down once in a while. But that screw lock, it's hooked. It stays nice. You bet. <laughs> Punched mats all day. Punching mats. <laughs> Nope. Net, please. That. Four pounds, two ounces. See, here's the key, Zark. You probably don't know this, but when you use black and blue, to chartreuse it. you got to make sure you got enough chartreuse in your fingers that it gets on it. It's really important. Big in. Oh, that's the kind we need right there. Yeah. <laughs> he came up and I said, Woo! Dude. All right, I'm gonna put him down there. Holy balls. What was the reason for that one? Snagged. <laughs> you gotta get snagged? Was it snagged when he ate it or did he have it? Whew. Deal. Spawn in its tail. Just kidding. Pull me. Pull me, Cole. This, this is what Cole does all day. <laughs> Cole, roll my sleeve up. Pull me, Cole! <laughs> nice fish, Zark. Do you want to weigh him or no? Nah, we can. Later. <laughs> At the weigh in. No! 
Swim jig. Dude, if there's a swim jig bite, I'm gonna do it. Find it. If there's a swim jig bite within <laughs> 500 miles, he'll taste it in the air with his wizard powers. That's small, ain't it? Yeah, that's not We flipped like 12 docks and fished two offshore spots. Good old biggin. That's gonna help us. He's fat. No, he's not. Big frame. Big and tree. Big and tree. It's big. It's small. It's big. He was. He was going to come off. See, this is what makes me feel good about how we're doing the tournament. We're definitely going to need some big fish to go along with it. I can't get a damn bite flipping, and Zark's throwing it between the docks of the dumb swim jig. The thing's a. Fr uh, I'm going to throw up now. The thing's a damn fish catcher. <laughs> Why is he gonna throw up? Because Zark's slaying him or because he's dumb? I'm gonna kick you off the boat if you keep catching fish for our team tournament. Worst scale in the North America. What is he? 795. <laughs> 4.10. 2-2. You know when that one's not making the team, we got a mega bag. Where's somewhere to and throw a C15. <laughs> I hate this place. I feel like if I do this, I'm gonna get the right bites. Yeah. One that no one knows about. That's all. That's all I'm asking for. They could reload there all day too. Or like those fish yesterday, the big one just freaking moved up there, you know? You fished it after a bunch of people probably fished it, right? You don't know if people were there when you weren't there? Cole's call to the bullpen, sponsored by Yamaha Outboards. Jesus, if I would have flipped this hard at I would have caught 28 pounds by now. Got him! Jesus. Maybe I should swim jig as well. Getting to be like that. I'm swim jigging, screw this. I'll do it for a while anyway. 210. Number three. Replace number three with that one because it weighs more. All I can catch is crossbars. Jesus. They look big when they come up first time. <laughs> this guy. Uh, I pretty much invented this technique. So. <laughs> it's the rod, man. Do you have a Zark swim jig rod? I throw all mine out. I hate that rod. <laughs> I'm throwing the inbred. There's no eyes on it. I need to put one eye on it. Or is it no eyes now? One. They got tougher. Hit a couple more docks and now it's no eyes. Two five, that's not gonna help. No, we have a two nine and a two ten, and a two eleven and a two thirteen. Gooden, unbelievable. Flippins, flippins fish. Oh man, that does not feel good. I'm just gonna cut the line, give him the hook. Really? Couldn't get a hold of him. Cut the shit out of me. Flippins. What do you think, Slaw? I don't know. I'm surprised Sark hasn't gotten bit up in these timber. 
I know. These lay downs. It's kind of weird. They're pretty shallow. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. up there again. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. It looked like it. it was over that tree. Yeah, it's all good. Got me excited. Even Cole said, yeah. Cole just had to say it. Can't believe his arc hadn't gotten bent on these trees. What's our smallest? 210. Well, we've had a pretty good morning. Caught fish pretty much consistently. The good thing is it's been a lot tougher than when Zark was here practicing, which is a good thing for us because Zark is a freaking wizard with his stupid swim jig skipping up under all the docks. They haven't been easy to catch. We've had to catch them in some pretty precarious locations and we feel like we can skip the docks probably as good or better than most people that are here. So we feel pretty good about that. We just only have one real good quality fish. So gonna move offshore a little bit, fish some rock piles that are on the lake. This one has been, uh, had a boat on it since we started this morning. So I don't know how it's gonna be. And there's only like four or three rock piles in the entire lake. But uh, stopped here last night, first cast, caught one on 10 inch worm. There's fish, let's do it. <laughs> you get that? that was awesome. That was the greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> It'll never happen again. What'd you think? I wasn't going to hook it? Dude, I practiced casting at you in the parking lot all last night for hours. Or maybe it was like three minutes, but I got really good in that span of time. Two pounds. You won't help us any. Wow. Biggest? Nope. Oh shit, that's crazy. He bit this morning. Broke someone off. Four pound test. Damn it, I was planning to finish week. Until you said that. I'm ready now. You're Sorry. a freaking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> right. Forgot what it felt like. Those guys must not have wallered their jigs very well. That ain't helping us, is it? Nope. Hard no, maybe. Swimming jigs. We're just looking for one big bite, Cole. Maybe this one's five pounds. He's just built weird. <laughs> Four pounds, eight ounces. Next time. Next time we're weighing a big bag here. Saving them. Trailers destroyed. There we go. Just a baby. 
How you doing? You catching them all? Yeah? Wait, you said finish strong. I got it now. Damn cord. He is super long. If he was just healthy, he would weigh more if he was bigger. God. Piss. Gotta make a good cast. It's been my problem, I think. Is that why I've been catching? Yeah, I'm serious. Keep on going. See what we can do. What should we leave five till? Get in there, Zark, get one. I think I was fishing it too fast, too. Yeah, I've been like rolling all of it. Been cranking it. Yeah, that might help us. Need it? Yeah, it will. Good fish, Zark. What's the smallest? Hold on, weigh it and. Oh, flip me right in the, the pee pee. <laughs> Decent. Three on the money. Sweet. One. Last cast. Not my jig, Dad. Dude, your jig's done. <laughs> Perfect amount of jigs. <laughs> <laughs> Zark's trying to cheat. One fifty six. Okay. Ended up coming up by a couple ounces here at the end. Zark freaking flipped under the dock and got our second biggest fish of the day, right? At three pounds, actually. Very lively fish. This, this Phoenix Live well sure keeps them alive well, Joe. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they, uh, really the best thing we could do, we caught a couple flipping and I don't even know what else, but swimming a jig up under the docks. Zark freaking hammered them. I don't know how much we have and we don't know what's leading it. So it's kind of a total crapshoot, but I guess we'll see. Zark freaking killed it today. I think I should have put my swim jig on a better skipping reel because making a really good cast was super important, it seemed like. Oh, boom! Yeah, that had a four pounder. Okay. He's heavy, but get him in there before he poops anymore. <laughs> Got one bigger than three, what, 315? Yeah. Right now, I think there's one guy with the Right? Four four. Four four. And then running right now. What's in the lead right now? Fifteen something? Fifteen yeah. something? Uh fifteen two point eight currently. 
Ben has to go move the Tahoe right now, but Zark and I are going to release the fish. I was using the Zark rod today. I like to swim and jig, hence why we caught him like that today. Uh, definitely good for skipping up underneath those docks. It would, you know, it's good fast tip so you get good load on the rod, but it has a lot of backbone you can get the hook in them. All right, here we go. Yeah. Here, I want to release one. We, uh, that last coal won it for us. Not a bad limit. Not as good as what we probably caught the other day, but good enough to win today. It was kind of tough, actually. Yeah, it did. Nice catch. Was there four minutes left? What an idiot. Good job, Ben. Thank you. I think he caught all of our fish. <laughs> what was there, 10 minutes left? No, like seven. Six. <laughs> <laughs> First place, Mr. Ben Milliken. Joe? $560 to you guys. Good job, guys. Also, Big Bass, you guys, $170. Good job, guys. Second place, $170. He doesn't have a partner. He's just by himself because he caught all the fish. Hanging out with your friends. We made it. We're back home. What a freaking weekend. Had a blast. Good time, Zark. You bet. Joe just woke up from a little nap, so he's only at about a 2 out of 10 level instead of his usual 9.9 .9 out of 10 level. But freaking, that was awesome. We just fished three tournaments in five days. I don't know if I've ever even done that, and we won all three of them. Freaking nuts. Today was crazy, totally different. Yesterday it was like an all-day deep cranking type thing. Today, Zark got on him with this six-cent swim jig and freaking wrecked him, and you had to make really good casts with it. You had to skip it up underneath the docks. And we were talking about this. I don't think, I literally, I, I always pimp the six cent stuff because I work with them for so long, but I don't think we could have won the tournament with any other swim jig on the market because this head on the bottom of the six cent swim jig is perfectly flat. So even someone that's not a very experienced fisherman or really good at casting at all, like Joe, was still able to skip it way far up underneath there. <laughs> um, and then the second thing was the screw lock, which is Joe talked about earlier. This thing's skipping every single cast. It pulls your trailer down, pulls your trailer down, or you get stuck on a crossbar, it pulls it down, and you constantly would be blowing through these. Well, we went through one pack of trailers the entire day is all, yeah. which is pretty crazy for two of us. And we caught a lot of fish on them. So. ton of fish. Another 40 fish probably besides the five we took to the weigh-in. And then, of course, good quality hook too. Very, very important to have a nice stout hook when you're swinging on them and then winching them out of docks. But link that below today was crazy uh, I don't know if you guys caught how it went because we weren't sure if we got eighth place in the tournament at the time or if we won the tournament but Joe caught one at the very end that was like a half pound coal almost a half pound coal and we ended up winning the tournament by three ounces two or three ounces is all so freaking did it I mean just if you guys fish tournaments don't ever give up fish till the end seven minutes left and he caught that fish out from under that dock yep what do you think? Should we go fish some more tournaments and whatnot? Every weekend. Every weekend the rest of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that sucks is we don't have a whole lot of tournaments around here. It was cool today because we fished a tournament where we had never been. Yeah, neither one of us had ever fished that lake until... Two days ago. Yeah. Yeah. Good freaking time, though. 
Alright guys, if you guys like the tournament videos, go hit the subscribe button, because I'm sure there'll be many more in the future, hopefully very soon. We're going to get unpacked. It was a long weekend. We're a little bit exhausted, so sorry if I don't do the best of always explaining the way through the tournament when we're kind of hanging. We were up too late and freaking woke up too early, and just, it's exhausting. But thanks so much for watching this one, man. We'll catch you soon.